In late March 1996, my heart had difficulty breathing and drove to the hospital. Two months later, he died. He died. I was completely devastated. Many years later, after a startup, after falling in love, after so many of life's adventure, I found my thinking. I found my. I found myself thinking about my dad. Lucy and I were far away in Stephen Hall Village, walking through narrow street. There are wonderfully friendly people everywhere, but it was a desperately poor place. People used the bathroom inside, and it flowed out into the open gutter and uh, straight into the river. We touched the boy with a limp leg, the result of a paralysis from polio. Lucy and I were in rural India, where uh, one of the few places where uh, polio still exists. Polio is transmitted thicker to oral, usually through filthy water. Well, my dad had polio. He had difficulty breathing his whole life. Uh, he went on a trip to Tennessee, his first grade. And uh, uh, he was hospitalized for two months and uh, had to be transported by military DC-3 back home, his first flight. He wrote, then I had to stay in bed before I started to go back to school. That was actually a quote from his fifth grade autobiography. The words on the verse of eliminating polio, with 328 people infected so far. Let's get it done soon. Perhaps one of you will do that. My dad was valedictorian of Manabo High School class of, um, of uh, my dad was my dad was valedictorian of Manabo of Flint Manabo High School of. Uh, of 1956, of about 90 kids. I happened across graduating speech recently, and it blew me away. 53 years ago, my dad said, we are entering a changing world, one of automation and employment change, where education is an economic necessity. We have increased periods of time. We have increased periods of time, as we wish they were true. And we have increased periods of time, as we wish. As our ultimate, as our work week, or retirement age, continue to decline. That we wish they were true. It is said the it is it is said the future of. Any nation can be determined by care and preparation given its use. If all the use of America were as fortunate in securing an education as we have been, the future of America would be more bright than it is today. <clears throat> if my dad were alive today, the thing I think he would be most happy about it is that Lucy and I have a baby in a hopper. Yeah, it's Ken Lucy. I think he would be annoyed that I hadn't got my PhD at Texas, Michigan. My dad was so full of ex my dad was so full of insight of excitement about new things. Uh, to this day, uh, um, I often 
I would often think about um, uh, I often I would often I would often I would often think about uh, um, I would often wonder I would often wonder Uh, I would often wonder. I would I would often wonder. I would often wonder what he would think. I would often wonder. I would often wonder. I often wonder what he would think about new development. We shall take part in. Uh, we shall take part in our witness and the development in science, medicine, and industry. That we can only dream. That we can only dream of today. If you are here today, well, it was one of the best day of his life. He'd be like a kid in candy store. For a day, he'd be young again. Many of us are fortunate enough to be here with family, and some of us have dear friends and families to go home to. And who knows, perhaps some of you, like Lucy and I, are dreaming of future families of your own. Just like me, your family brought you here and you brought down here. Please keep them close. And remember what really matters in life. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks, Lucy. And thank you. Oh, very much.